Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and I'm coming with the Christmas ideas because I want to help you to make your Christmas gifts. Okay, and here I have a whole Christmas playlist that you could check out and this tutorial is for starry Christmas earrings and I know that some people tell me that they look more like flowers but Christmas flowers is also cool. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step, so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. And if you wanna support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And it's a good idea to hit the bell because sometimes I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And believe it on or not, these earrings are really similar to the ones that I'm making today, but they are with 8 points and I started them with 16 beads instead of 12 like those here. And you could check them also, they are linked here at the eye icon. So now you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this video are two colors of 11 oz seed beads. You could use 10 oz seed beads if you want, as long as both colors are one and the same size. Here I use ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. And here I use nylon thread that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, which is size D. You could use monofilament or fire lined, whatever you like. And I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start my work by picking up 12 of these golden beads. Okay, and now guys, I have my 12 here on my needle. Okay, 12 beads, uh, 3 times 4, and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this row. And here, what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made and pulling gently and then I will make one, one more knot here like that and now this circle of beads is ready then in my next step I will go through some beads in this direction Okay guys, and now what I need to take are five of these beautiful red beads. Okay, and I have five here on my needle, five beads. And I will skip one golden bead and go through the following. And I'm pulling. And I will take five more red beads. Okay, five. Skip one golden and go through the following. Five again. Five. Skip one. Go here. And I'm going to continue this three more times. Okay guys, and I just added my last sixth loop of beads here. And what I want to do is reach here the top 
one of these points and I'm taking three golden beads going back here like that then I go just one bead to the center of my work and take just one golden bead and go here just one red bead under this angle here okay connecting those two beads now I will go here at the angle take three golden beads go back and if you can also go through the following red not only through the one at the angle but also through the following and I'm taking one golden go here and exit at the angle and take three goldens go back and go at the following red and pull fix it a little bit take one golden go here through this red one and pull okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row And now guys, I'm here at my last step and pay attention where I'm going to the same place at this red one. Okay, now guys, I have this. Okay, and in my next step, I want to go here through these golden beads, through all of the tree here at the angle. Then I'm going to take just one golden and go here through this central golden bead. One more golden and go here through this one. Then through these two goldens. One golden go here in the center one more go at the angle and everywhere I will fill the holes between the three angle beads and this one with seed beads okay taking one seed bead and going here in this inner angle Take one seed bead and going here at this outer angle. Okay. And I'm going to repeat this off camera and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys. And here I'm adding my last bead from this row. It's all the same. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind the video and see the previous steps. They're all the same just add a one bit everywhere at the gaps and here this row will be really similar to the previous row okay i'm taking three bits and i'm going back in circle here at the angle this is the first step then i'm going through two bits in this direction take one red bit go through two more bits Pull tight and exit at the angle. Here at the angle, take three beads and go back in circle through this one. And if you can, in one movement, also go through the following two 
beats that you need to go through. Okay, and one. If you can go through three beats, if it's not possible, go first through two and then through this one. Take three red beads, go back in circle here, following two, one red at the angle. And I think this work is really cool, but because you could stop at any stage and your work will look really beautiful. Even at this stage where it's not finished, it still looks beautiful and you still could use this element in bracelet, earrings, necklaces combining them, and so on and so on. Okay? And now I'm going to finish this row the same way and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here almost at the last step of my work where I'm adding this red bead here. And what I want to do is still go through the angle bead like I did in my previous row all the way through in these beads. But here, instead of adding one bead here and one bead here, because there is more space, I will add two beads. You know, in every next row, if you want to make more and more rows, you will need to add more beads. Two beads between the angles, the outer and the inner angles, if you understand me. Okay. Now I'm here at this stage where I add two beads everywhere. And in fact, this row is really pleasant and it's really easy because I'm adding two beads everywhere and I'm filling the gaps. And of course, guys, I will let you do this by yourself. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here. What I need to add is just one golden bead. And you see how this work looks cool at any stage. But anyways, here I will add one more row and finish it. And you don't need to stop up to this row. You could make more and more rows. And you could post on Facebook, on my Facebook page, your work to see it if you make an experiment or if you change colors or even if you make absolutely the same thing I will be happy to see it okay and at this row I need three beads everywhere three between my outer and my inner angle three more This is a good base for experiments, guys. Okay. Then three. Again. Three one more time. And I'll let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay. And what I do usually here is that I make an additional reinforcement here at the edge. But now I'm not going to do this. But uh, it's just an idea you could do this. So this would look better here. The edges of the work, I mean. and. Now, I want to show you how to attach your ear wire. And I will attach it by picking up one golden bead, 
my ear wire and one more golden bead. So this is what I have on my needle. And I will go back in circle through those beads, attaching it like this. And I will go several times reinforcing this joint here. Okay, and when I'm ready reinforcing, I will go through some beads in this direction, let's say here at the angle. And here I want to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made, making sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Then I could repeat this step several more times. And when I'm ready, I'm going through the following seed bead and cutting my thread and then my earring will be ready. Okay guys, and now my starry Christmas earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy some supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.